Principal at McGill Tulin Catholic High School in Mobile said he was about 100 yards away from the explosion when he felt the ground shake. He heard a loud booming noise and saw smoke. John Rapol's wife is part of a Fairhope group called Running Wild, and he was on his way to greet her at the finish line when the bombs detonated. Fox 10 News reporter Candace Murphy talked to Rapol and some other local runners. Now, Candace, what are they saying? Well, Bob and Lenise, they definitely have some terrifying stories to tell. Mm. There are nearly 10 runners from Baldwin County who trained together, and they had just crossed the finish line 10 minutes before the explosions. Thankfully, everyone in the group is fine, but they say it was a cheerful day that quickly turned tragic. Seeing and feeling the explosions near the finish line of the Boston Marathon is something John Repole says he will never forget. I was walking towards the finish line, walking down the street, and uh, heard a big boom, boom. All the smoke uh, shot out to the street. Heard a second boom, uh, probably about five Five to ten seconds later, smoke came out the street out in front of us. Repul says his wife Lori is part of the Baldwin County group called Running Wild. The group had just completed the race, and Repul was going to meet up with them at the finish line. He says the crowd was 20 people deep, and he couldn't get in touch with his wife. Deep down, all of a sudden you felt, you know, your stomach drop and tighten up, and then like, initially I went straight to. Uh, is my wife and her friend okay, you know, are they okay down there? Uh, it was a scary moment for, for a few minutes there. Repol's wife was with her friend Allison Ellis, who's the manager of the Running Wild store in Fairhope. Their family and friends had just gotten word their loved ones were safe. Scared. I was very scared. I thought, how, you know, what has happened? How are they? All of them okay? Because we have a lot of Pensacola people going, people from here. Completely blindsided. I mean, you know, you really don't think something, um, you know, is ever going to happen. Around eight people from the Baldwin County community participated in the marathon. Ellis describes what she saw and felt from the finish line. The second one happened within probably five seconds of the first one, and uh, and then you saw black smoke from that, and you felt it. I mean, we were close enough, you know, you felt it rumble in your chest, and um, I turned around and looked at Laurie and said, if we were two minutes slower, we would have been standing right there when that happened. The Running Wild group and all who care for them say tonight they are thankful they walked away from the explosion unharmed. I spoke with Ellis on the phone about an hour ago. She says right after the explosions, the streets were crowded with people. But now, she says, the area has turned into somewhat of a ghost town. Both Ellis and Rapole are planning on flying home tomorrow.